Good morning, folks. It's the 24th of January, 2018. Whatever we're reporting on, no, somebody doesn't want you to see. Not only are they suppressing the channel, they're attempting to block us from producing the video. Here on this channel, you get more news in 15 minutes than you do on the rest in the rest of the internet or the rest of the uh, on all the television stations. Subscribe, discover, never stop learning. Pray we can stay on the air. The main story is over the last few days we are seeing earthquakes across the planet increasing in frequency and number. This is isis.edu. So, uh, and you can get there. We'll talk about this in a little bit. First, we're supposed to do a commercial on Virtual Shield because, of course, we've got to feed, the, feed people. And all the money we earn goes to helping feed people. This is Virtual Shield. All of you know that I use it every day, so I'm typing my story out, right? Just typing along and... Suddenly the story's erased. Microsoft works. It's erased. So I have to start all over again. And I think, oh, I turned the computer on this morning. So I downloaded Virtual Shield, like I do every morning. And suddenly, everything worked fine. The story wasn't erased. The, uh, the story that we were typing was not erased. These stories were not taken off the computer. Everything works. So we go to Virtual Shield. We signed up for the Protect My Family. We signed up for a year. And we signed up for the extra protection plus and the identity safe, which is like $4 extra a month. So we're paying about $20 a month, and we can bring the stories to you. So how do you do a commercial on something essential? I don't know. This morning, we, my, wife, my honey is sick, so we gave her 25 drops of Citricare. How do you do a commercial on something that works? It's just something we use on a daily basis. Anyway, here's the seismic meter. As if, you know, microstorms now appearing all over is not enough. Governments forcing vaccinations and chem, poisonous chemtrails and poisonous water and poisonous foods on us. Now the earthquakes are skyrocketing across the globe just like we said they would. As you can see from SOHO, we're going to go to SOHO in a, in a minute. This is NASA's observation. They painted out all the sunspots. But when you go down here, that's Venus, by the way. This hasn't changed, has it? They're still spitting out solar flares all over the place, yet NASA claims that there's no sunspots. Right. You know, they can try to hide this, but they can only hide it for so long. Um, apparently, there's something in our solar system called 41P Tuttle Giacoboni Kresek Comet that has positioned itself between planet Earth, there it is, and the sun, of course, if we have a space program, why aren't we right next to it stopping it? It's about the size of a skyscraper. It was spinning madly until it came close to Earth. It stopped spinning, and now it's firing beams at the sun. And every time it fires a beam at the sun, we get more earthquakes. Whatever's happening, NASA is not going to tell us about. Absolutely going to hide this. We know that the super space program is run by the U.S. Navy because the people involved in it who have retired showed me their paychecks, and it all comes from the U.S. Navy. We also know they, they spend between 6 and $7 trillion a year. They make it up on digital computers. They're all run by Microsoft anyway. Wouldn't it be nice to know the truth about what's going on there, out there in the solar system? So please pray that both Microsoft and Google stop scrubbing the net, and that we learn the truth about what's really going on out there. Because we don't know, and yet it affects our very lives, so here we go to the Alaska one by clicking on it. And then we can click on the Alaska earthquake. There it is. All these earthquakes in the Gulf of Alaska. Look at the number. We go here and we find a seismographic printout, which is impossible to find anywhere else. So this was an earthquake. You can play it. And then if I had my sound on, it would, it would give you the sound of the earthquake. Anyway, pray that we can get the truth. And in other news, in other incredible news, we should say. By the way, Sorsha has a video of the actual sunspot being released. There it is right there. So apparently the sunspots are still there. Sorsha did a fabulous job on this. So apparently the sunspots are still there. They can try to block it, but they really can't because they always leave a trail of mistakes. Always. 
So, President Trump is now headed to Davos. Thank God he's headed there. All those... Let me tell you, there's some real arrogant people working for... God, I hate looking at that. It's a GMO wheat. Um, President Trump is taking 16 of his top advisors to Davos, Switzerland to face 36 key world leaders. Key world leaders like Angela Merkel, who says popularism is a very bad thing. The people should have no right to tell the government what to do. They are smarter than us and deserve to be in power, and we have no right to stop, to, to, uh, to change that, right? We have no right to change the fact that Angela Merkel is in charge. We have no right to displace the democratic Nazis from power, right? The right of the people to speak out shall be suppressed. We are the rightful leaders, is what Angela Merkel says, and President Trump has to face her. So pray that these arrogant leaders repent or are neutralized as President Trump wanders through the halls of Davos and was elected by a popular vote. In fact, we have the election map right here. There were only about 20 counties that showed votes for Hillary. Yep. And those 20 counties almost swayed the entire election, so all they needed to do was pay off 20 people to sway the election. That ain't happening anymore. No more. The country is tired of Nazis running it. We fought you and beat you in 1945, and we're going to beat you again. So says the I am that I am who was and is and is to come. And just to show you how arrogant Angela Merkel is and her other buddies, Qualcomm was slapped with a one point, uh, 997 billion euro fine, $123 million billion dollar fine. Why? Well, apparently there's only one chip manufacturer for the Apple phones. Oh, by the way, Qualcomm was fined uh, $1.23 billion. That's 4% of its budget. It's the only manufacturer of Apple chips, and it's about to be gobbled up by Broadcom. This will leave only two chip manufacturers worldwide to control 95% of the market, Intel and Broadcom, or Qualcomm. This is how the elite banksters work. This is what they tell Angela Merkel to do. We only want one company to make chips. We want one company to make cars. One company to make computers. Complete monopolies running the planet. It's all about who gets the money. Destroy the competition. And people like her make it so the competition is destroyed. And along comes President Trump to say, I don't think so. We're going to have a little competition in there. Get out of my way. So pray for his safety. And finally, we're watching a very, very hot fire from a Russian submarine. This is a Russian submarine in Vladivostok. You can see that it's burning like mad. The problem is it has 72 nuclear warheads in it. And we don't know if those are affected. It looks like black diesel smoke. Many of the Russian submarines are still diesel-powered. Unbelievable smoke plume. If that's nuclear smoke, Japan has a problem. Because as we can see, from Vladivostok to Japan, this wind, this nuclear fallout is heading right for Tokyo. Please pray, if there are 72 nuclear warheads, it's not as bad as Three Mile Island or Chernobyl or Fukushima, but it's bad just the same. And we're going to see 10, 20 million people affected by the radiation poisoning if these are indeed. Anywhere from 72 to 144 nuclear warheads are burning, but we don't know how many. Uh, please pray for the people of Japan that they start eating seaweed and buying immunosis like crazy. Please also pray that the government of Japan asks the people to start buying immunosis and seaweed, and if they, because if they do not, God will rip the government of Japan a new rear end, and you'll hear about all kinds of things happening in Japan. And I promise you, this fire from Chernobyl, and if this Japanese government doesn't respond in a positive way, warning their people, God will rip them a new rear end. So whatever's about to happen to Japan is coming from the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and there's not a lot they can do about it unless they urge their people to buy immunocyst and seaweed. Those are the only two things we have found that eliminates cancer and mitigates radiation poisonings. And we discovered that at Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. 
that seaweed and the surfactant boiled out of seaweed eliminates cancer and mitigates the effects of radiation. And in other news affecting you, thanks to the last <laughs> thanks to the last administration and the female Secretary of State, we now have nuclear armed submarines in India, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, and now soon to be the United Arab Emirate as they buy German submarines loaded with nuclear warheads. Not only are they getting nuclear submarines they ordered while the last president was in office, the last secre female Secretary of State also sold North Korea 56 nuclear weapons, gave Vietnam 15, and gave Saudi Arabia 50 nuclear weapons. Let me tell you, the last administration has nuclear armed in violation of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty over six nations with large numbers of nuclear weapons. And he was given the Nobel Peace Prize. And in our, that, what a laugh that is. And in our humor department, unbelievable, Pakistan. But the Indian, fear not because the Indian nuclear submarines right now don't work. Yeah. Anyway, Dubai to get nuclear submarines. In our humor department, Super Bowl tickets are falling. What used to be $20,000 for a Super Bowl ticket is now $3,450 for a seat way high up in the nosebleed section. Way high up there. Anyway, a lot of the seats aren't going to be sold. You know, if the directors of the NFL had any gonads below the belt, They'd fire the people who aren't standing for the national anthem. But you know what? They're a bunch of gutless wonders. So as the attendance in the NFL games plummets, all I got to say to the leaders of the NFL is, wah. So anyway, thank you for watching. You are the difference. Pray for President Trump's safety. Uh, all those who oppose him will fall to the wayside. So says the I am that I am who was and is and isn't to come. And it is you that make the difference. I cannot emphasize that enough. You are the ones that make the difference. This is your channel. This story is coming to you, brought to you by you, who actually directed me to do this. It is you who brought me the stories. Uh, most of these stories come from you. This is your channel. God bless. Thank you very much. And good night. Man, I can't tell you how much... I'm going to digress a minute, but I can't tell you how much these kids in the orphanage appreciate you watching this channel. Because today, when everything seems to be falling apart in the world, you're watching this channel is actually feeding these kids. You'll never meet them. I might even get pictures of them. I don't know. Patch has four of them, and then there's the gal who has eight of them in Mexico. Um, just by watching this channel, the money goes to help feed these kids. And then we've got a couple... In Montana, we're helping in couples, golly, I'll send four or five packages out a month of, of stuff to help people get rid of their cancer. And it's you that are doing this. You, just by watching this channel, are helping cure cancer of people you will never, ever know. So I cannot, from them, to me, to you, thank you. God bless and good night.